Hi guys, so we've got in here to the bread and butter of this app, which is mapping your Google shopping feed. Now this app gives you an enormous amount of options when it comes to this. And basically we're inside the channel and we're gonna be mapping the Google shopping feed. So as you can see here, you have required fields on your left. Now these are all for Google shopping that they need to have in order to set up your feed. You have here basically uh, mapping options in the middle um, that you can change. We'll go into that now in a little bit. And here we have the source feed options on the right, which could be from input fields or internal fields, depending on what we choose. And guys, if you're just renaming, which is what basically the Google the Google Shopping Shopify app does. If you're just renaming, you basically just want to like leave this as it is and you don't really have to change much. But if you want to get into campaign optimization and cleaning up your feed, this app will allow you to modify your feed for specific keywords, meaning that it can send a new field to Google Shopping with more information on your product. So we can do a quick example of that. Um, let me see. Basically going to get rid of this one. And we can do a quick example here. Um, you can add an optional field here, basically, which is just sending Google more information on your product. And then basically giving them more information so that your product is much more likely to show up and allows your customers to see what you're advertising before they click on your ad. So let's do an example here. This will make a lot more sense now. So let's add an, op an optional field and let's say that what we wanna add is color. So we go on ahead and click color, add that field. And under color, we basically want to say, to add a static value here and let's say that our static value is red. So we want to add red to a field that's named color. So this is what we're sending this to Google. Basically, we're sending them an extra field that's titled color. And we're inside that color, we're putting the color red inside that field. And basically, if our internal fields, meaning that the description of the product or let's say the the let me see what options we have here so if we say looking for variant so variant title so if our variant title includes uh, red, then it will add the static value red as an optional field for color for the product. Now that might seem a little confusing and it's like a very uh, specific case scenario, but think about all the options that you guys have when adding fields to your products. Basically, you can create optional fields for group IDs, for bestseller tags. You can really get crazy with this and add uh, optional fields for a lot of different things. So, yeah, you can basically set this static value of red for anything with a variant title that has red in it. Or you can even do or variant title that includes pink if you want to call pink red for whatever reason you could basically add this optional field to just give Google that much more information. But yeah, that's just more, more likely to get your product shown to, to the customers and for them to see what you're offering uh, more exactly. Now they will know that, that you offer this red, this red product and so on and so forth. You can add another rule for color, say blue and in the internal field, input field you want to say if the variant title the variant title says blue to add this to your color field 
and yeah, and the list goes on and on, guys. You can just get real crazy with this. But yeah, that's an option here when setting up your your shopping feed. And next, uh, we can actually go into one of the most important fields here because we're talking about optional fields, guys. But one of the most important fields here is the title field. And basically, this is the title that customers are going to be seeing when they click on your or when they search on Google and your product pops up. So this is super important. We're going to be going over this. We're going to make its own uh, an, a video just for this so that we can go dive deep and explain this really well. So all right, guys, in the next video, we'll be covering the title and how to update your product title so that it converts really well. All right, guys, see you in the next video.